In this tutorial video, we will be demonstrating how to use the Draw Pivot tool within the Shuri Customize Online Mapping Program. The Draw Pivot tool has a couple different functions. In its most basic form, it will draw a circular polygon on the Shuri interface and calculate the acres of it. You can also use it to draw a circular polygon that has portions of it cut out, such as pie pieces or half of it or quarters. The third function is to cut out an already drawn polygon using the draw pivot tool. This is useful for determining acres of the corners in a corner section, as well as when you are wanting to draw multiple pivots next to each other without overlapping them. To start, let's go ahead and click on the drawing tool and then find the draw pivot option. So again, the most basic form is to just simply draw a circular polygon on the map. So to start, let's find the center point that we want to use. Left click once, move your mouse slowly away from that point, and it will increase the size of your pivot circle. At this point, we can modify the center point that we placed by using the arrow keys on our keyboard to adjust it up, down, left, or right. This is helpful when you want to fine tune the placement of that center point to get your outside area perfect. Once our center point is correct, we can left click again and it will set the size of the polygon and then click again to close it. Or if we rotate our mouse around the center point, we'll be able to create half or pie sections of this polygon area. Once you have the desired polygon, we can left click one more time to set it. Now we can use all of the regular functions of your drawing tool to modify any of the nodes as well as use our adjust acres tool in the right hand panel. As you can see this is not necessarily the most efficient way to use the pivot tool if you're looking to retain the boundary within that quarter section. Clear this. So the other option is to use the pivot tool to break apart an already drawn boundary. And we can use any of the other drawing tools to do this, such as the draw field. We could simply draw our section out using the draw field tool. Otherwise, if we wanted to speed up the process, we can use the smart select and have the program automatically draw out an area for us. Once you have a drawing on the map, we can go back to our draw pivot tool, left click in the boundary that we want to create our pivot and left click once more in the center and proceed to draw out that pivot one more time. We don't have to worry about going out of this boundary. Uh, we can just match it up like we would normally do. And once we close, we can see that it's creating multiple boundaries in the system. So now if we go to our FSA map, for example, we can see that it is telling us the acres of all of our different boundaries. For more information on the pivot tool, please go to our help dropdown, click on support, find the drawing tools bullet, and the draw pivot tool to get a step-by-step -step walkthrough of using that tool. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all the latest tutorial videos and how-tos.